The VAMP Junior System is for your smallest patients. It is designed to meet the volume critical requirements of pediatric and neonatal patients, requiring periodic withdrawal of blood samples from umbilical, arterial, and central line catheters. The VAMP Junior System standardizes blood sampling techniques for consistency, accuracy, and safety you can depend on. The VAMP Junior Reservoir, with a 3 cc capacity, reduces patient blood loss and optimizes clearing volumes while providing safer infusion and undiluted accurate blood samples. The VAMP Junior system is also designed with a special hood that helps reduce contamination risk. The VAMP Junior system is available with or without an Edwards True Wave disposable pressure transducer for a complete solution that protects clinicians from unnecessary exposure to blood, enhances patient safety, and protects your hospital's bottom line. Setup, priming, sampling, and flushing are quick and easy with the VAMP Junior system. The VAMP Junior Reservoir with a 3 cc capacity reduces patient blood loss and optimizes clearing volumes while providing safer infusion and undiluted accurate blood samples. The VAMP Junior system can be used at the bedside, next to the patient, right where you need it. The self-sealing pre-slit non-latex Z-site sample port is designed to enable the collection of undiluted samples and to reduce the chance of infection. The blunt cannula design provides safety during the process by eliminating the needle sticks associated with blood sampling. The Edwards VAMP family of closed blood sampling systems is designed to protect the patient and the clinician from complications associated with traditional sampling techniques. Traditional sampling risks in the critical care setting involve removal of the stopcock cap and storing so that the inside of the cap remains sterile, accessing the sample port, storing the cap, and connecting the waste syringe places the system's sterility at risk. Drawing the clearing volume involves the risk of an inconsistent amount of clearing volume drawn and the risk of diluted lab samples. Discarding the clearing volume wastes the patient's own blood, thus increasing the chance that the patient will require a transfusion. Connecting sample syringes to draw samples requires additional access that increases the risk of contamination at the port. Transferring a blood sample to a vial via a needle puts the clinician at risk for needle stick injury and bloodborne pathogen exposure. Flushing the port to clear residual blood also puts the clinician at risk for bloodborne pathogen exposure. Replacing the stored cap puts the system's sterility at risk for contamination of the cap or sample port. Now that you've been introduced to the VAMP Junior system, let's start our in-service by setting it up. To begin, Remove the VAMP Junior system from the package using aseptic technique. All connections should be checked, secured, and tightened. Close the reservoir plunger and confirm it is in a locked position. Now, attach the distal end with a female lure lock connector to the transducer stopcock on the disposable pressure transducer or to an IV line for hospital protocol. Now that you have set up the VAMP Junior system, let's learn how to prime the system. First, open the reservoir plunger to approximately 1 half cc to facilitate flow of the priming solution. Next, with the shutoff valve in the open position, which is parallel to the tubing, hold the sampling side above the VAMP Junior reservoir at a 45 degree angle. Now, provide flow by pulling the flush device of the Edwards True Wave disposable pressure transducer. Then slowly deliver priming solution to remove the air. When that is done, close the plunger and remove all air from the system. Once the system is primed, you are now ready to draw the clearing volume. Note, depending on the procedure and policy of the hospital, syringes, blood collection tubes, a blood transfer unit, alcohol preps, and needleless cannula will be needed. First, 
close the distal shutoff valve by turning the handle perpendicular to the tubing. Now smoothly and evenly pull up on the reservoir plunger until the plunger stops and the reservoir has reached its 3 cc capacity. The recommended pull rate is 1 cc every 10 to 15 seconds. When the volume has been drawn, close the proximal shutoff valve by turning the handle perpendicular to the tubing. Now that the clearing volume has been drawn, let's review how to take a sample using the syringe blood transfer unit, or BTU method. To begin, swab the proximal sample site with alcohol or other antiseptic. Then, ensure the plunger is depressed to the bottom of the syringe. Next, attach the cannula to the syringe. When it is attached, push the cannula into the proximal vamp junior needleless sampling site and hold in place for approximately one to two seconds. Note, do not use a hypodermic needle through the sampling site. Draw the required volume of blood into the syringe. Once the blood is drawn, remove the syringe and cannula from the sampling site by pulling straight out while holding the cannula. Once the last sample has been drawn, swab the sampling site with alcohol or other antiseptic to ensure removal of any residual blood remaining on the sampling port. After all the samples have been taken, the final step is to reinfuse the clearing volume from the Vamp Junior Reservoir. Be aware that the clearing volume should not remain in the reservoir for longer than three minutes. To reinfuse the clearing volume, first open the proximal shutoff valve by turning the handle parallel to the tubing. Now slowly, smoothly, and evenly push down on the plunger until it is fully closed. Once again, the recommended rate is 1 cc every 10 to 15 seconds. Next, fill a syringe with a flush solution and attach the cannula to the syringe. Ensure that the syringe and cannula are free of air bubbles. Swab the distal sample port with alcohol or other antiseptic then insert the syringe and cannula into the distal access port. Slowly flush the line per hospital procedure. When completed, open the distal one-way valve. Note, the approximate volume required to flush the line is one to one and a half cc's. To transfer the blood sample from the syringe to vacuum tubes, Use the blood transfer unit, or BTU. Using aseptic technique, peel open the pouch. Ensure that all connections are tight. Hold the VAMP blood transfer unit in one hand and push the cannula on the filled sample syringe through the VAMP blood transfer unit needleless injection site. Insert the selected vacuum tube into the BTU's opening until the internal needle has punctured the rubber disc on the vacuum tube. Fill the vacuum tube to the desired volume. Repeat filling tubes according to the requirements for the patient's blood study. Discard the VAMP blood transfer unit after transferring the blood sample from the syringe into the vacuum tubes. Discard all syringes and cannula after use according to hospital policy. For more than 40 years, Edwards Life Sciences has been helping you make proactive clinical decisions in advancing the care of acutely ill patients across the continuum of care. Through ongoing collaboration with clinicians, providing continuous education, and our dedication to the constancy of innovation, Edwards continues to develop smart hemodynamic management solutions that enable proactive decision support.